everybody. I have got a project I'm doing around the house today and it is hanging two really big shelves. <laughs> they were a thrift store find from my trip to the Goodwill the other day and they are two shelves that have like the little lip on them and then three holes on the back. And they actually had their original tags from Ikea on them. And originally they wanted, well, the price is on one of them somewhere, $8. But that particular tag was half price, so I got the two shells for $4. And as you can see in my kitchen, um, I have this one big wall that has nothing on it. And I have some fairly new pictures that my daughter gave me of my grandchildren. And they've been sitting on the bar, but I've been really paranoid every time I get up there, I'm afraid somebody's gonna knock them over and they're gonna fall back down. And I'm really not a photo hanging person, but I kind of like the idea that with these shelves, I can use just two or three screws and be able to put them, you know, I can probably put at least four pictures and on each shelf. The trick for me is that I don't have anybody to hold these up for me or to tell me if they're straight or not. So I was staring at the wall and I just decided what I will do is I have this one piece of twine and I am going to tape it on one side of the wall and on the other side of the wall and then I'm going to step back and look at the height and then I kind of have a guideline that I don't have to keep marking and putting a bunch of holes in the wall. We can hope, right? <laughs> so that's the game plan and we'll see how it turns out. Okay? Carter <laughs> nail. Hey, the first shelf up, great. Could only find enough for two screws for each shelf. I'm supposed to have three. So the middle one I did a nail. 
And also trying to mark through the hole, even though I had a crayon pen that was long enough, the marks weren't showing up, so I just kind of pushed the nail through. So on the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly tap two nails through the holes, like about a quarter inch in, so they'll be the starter holes for the two screws, and then again, one big nail in the center one, okay? Back up, Dora. Hacky up, Okay. Okay, that was tricky. <laughs> but I have still not made any extra holes and they are unbelievably straight. So I'm gonna do a better starter hole for this last hole in the corner. I'm going to screw a nail, and have another screw over there. Unfortunately, all I could find is this giganto one, so let's pray there isn't like a steel plate in the corner of a room. I don't know. Although it's not all the way to the corner. Okay? Let's find out. <laughs> be interesting. <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it. Hey, I did it. <laughs> and it looks good, right? So I gotta find a black magic marker and touch up some of the little scuffy marks. Um I probably could put a few more pictures up there, but some of them are in pretty heavy frames, so I think I'll just wait until maybe I can transfer some that like don't have like matting in them and some lighter weight ones just to be on the safe side. But I'll take a picture of it straight on and you can see how flipping straight I got it first go around and doing the balancing act. And um, looks really good with my bar which I made a few years ago that also has photos on top of it. So it's like a perfect tie-in and I'm really happy with it. Oh, and also my light I made out of a colander. Or I guess a steam pot insert, right? Okay, bye everyone.